we've used a gene editing technology. And the big question was, could the organoids actually get diseases that resemble what kidney disease looks like in people? And that's a complex challenge because kidney disease is very complex. We've generated kidney organoids with polycystic kidney disease. And instead of staying normally compact, they actually expand and form these cysts. And in doing this, what we've discovered is something very new about that disease process. We found that the cyst formation is not just something that depends on the cells, but really depends on what's around the cells and the interaction of those cells with their microenvironment. Beforehand, we'd already established a genetic model, and we'd shown that these organoids could form PKD-like cysts. But what's new here is that we've used the model to understand something fundamental about that disease. And we've discovered that the polycystin proteins, which are causing the disease, are interacting with their microenvironment. And therefore, if we can change the way they interact or what they're experiencing on the outside of the cell, we can actually change the course of the disease. It could be done in, in numerous ways. Uh, we could look at different genes that are affecting this process. We can look at drugs that affect the way the cell creates its own microenvironments. And we could think about surgical interventions that actually modify the physical environment of the kidney. We need to understand how it works. If we don't understand how it works, we've no hope of curing the disease. But if we can understand how it works, it gives us a whole new ability and interventional window. And our work is telling us that looking at outside of the, the outside environment of the kidney may be the key to curing the disease.